What's up, YouTube fam? So, Tay East tagged me in um, a hole in the wall challenge video, y'all. So, I am about to do that challenge. And y'all know I'm in my little spot. Y'all know where I already came to, y'all. We got some wings, Todd. So, um, first of all, let me get the jam going. Let's go, baby. Hey. Mm -mm 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 -mm. To the hole in the wall. Hey, all right, y'all. So I'm about to get this set up and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna eat this together. We're gonna talk about the hole in the wall challenge and what I'm supposed to be doing, y'all. Hold on, I'm show y'all what I got. So I got the hickory barbecue ch um, chicken sandwich, y'all. I think it just got pickles on there. And this, ooh, this, this bread, y'all, I just love it. And of course I got the fries, but I always get the Cajun um, fries because what else are you doing with your life at Wingstop if you're not getting your fries with the Cajun seasoning? Like it don't make sense. I don't like all that sugary cinnamon stuff that they be putting on them other ones. I don't want that. And, of course, we got the ranch, y'all. Um, so, the Hole in the Wild challenge, y'all, is you have to name a Hole in the Wild place that you've been to. Um, and you have to um, tell a story. And you can you have to tell, like, what they have on their menu. So, I don't remember the name of this Hole in the Wild place, y'all. But we used to, me and my bestie, used to go there all the time, y'all. It's in Houston. It's on the north side. I cannot remember the name of this place. But it's a blues place. And it was for older people. Like, we was like 18, 19, 20 in there with people that were like 40 plus, 50 plus years old, y'all. I always had an old soul, right, growing up. I always had an old soul. So, I love this place. They played a lot of Johnny Taylor and Nesby. Um, who else? Um, Betty Wright, like this was a spot they had. They did have like a couple pool tables in there. So, I don't know what I'm talking about. I want to say it was off of 59 and something. It was over there in that area, like right after you pass Umble. It might be in Umble. I don't remember, but shout out to them, y'all. So, their menu was basically like just holding the wild food, y'all. Most people, when you went there, you got the um. The fish basket, y'all was slapping. I loved it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This sandwich is un undefeated, y'all. But yeah, so the fish basket was was what was hitting. Um, they cheeseburgers was like homemade burgers like real meat on the grill like something you would make at the house what i loved about that cheeseburgers here it was what you make at the house they put it on light bread i know what light bread is aka regular sandwich bread and it was smacking and they had the best breakfast sandwiches you can get that anytime it was made the breakfast sandwich was not no bougie nothing it was regular sandwich bread, buttered up, slapped on the grill, and you could get it with bacon or sausage and eggs and cheese and y'all, yeah, it was just a whole situation that, y'all, yeah, I, I didn't even know I needed that in my life at the time, but it was so good, y'all. Um, Now, story time, y'all. Hold on, because I'm going to have to sit my food down for this. I'm going to sit my food down for this. my story, because this sandwich, y'all, I need to... I need to eat up, y'all. I need to eat up. Mmm. If y'all ain't tried these chicken sandwiches, y'all missing out. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Hi. Y'all don't know who that is. They staring at me. I guess they're trying to watch my production. Wing stop sponsor me, please. TXGamblesInfo at gmail.com. Holly to the girl. Rick Ross, if you're out there. <sighs> sponsor me. Okay, yeah, I had to see my food down over here. But we're going to talk about this story. So. I went one night. So this is what you okay, so I think it was like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 
was always um blues night like that's primarily was like primarily the older people i think it was thursdays and fridays was hood night so it would be just all kinds of hood folks in there and y'all know what i mean when i say all kinds of hood folks y'all it was y'all it was it was like a young girl crowd but not as young as us or whatever but younger than the 40 and 50 crowd or whatever hold on y'all because my face is i don't know I don't know what's going on right now. But anyway, so me and my bestie, um, one of my besties anyway, we had decided we was going to go on hood night, which was cool. We went on hood night. Everything was good. And like, I was I was such a like, I mean, if you could tell, like, I'm not always in the get up. Like, I was such a tomboy then. So, like, I would have my tight jeans on, but I always had on some Jordans or some Chucks or like stuff like that. So, of course, I had my little my little tight jeans on, had my, my joints on, but it was crazy because my bestie was it's the complete opposite. Y'all seen Kelsey, y'all know how she how she dressed. She always been like this. She always want to get cute. For whatever reason, this night, she decided that she was just going to put on some jeans, and I was so thrown off by it, y'all, because she never wear, like, she never used to wear tennis shoes. So, right off top, I knew something was wrong, girl. I knew something was wrong. And she said, I just have a feeling like I need to put my put some tennis shoes on. I was just thinking, like, you know, spidey senses was tingling. I was like, okay, okay, this is what you want to do. So we go, and it's hood night. The Greeks are out, okay? And for y'all that don't know what I mean, it's like the Kappas were there, the Alphas were there, the Deltas were there, the AKAs were there. Like, I guess it was Greek night. I don't remember. I don't remember if it was really Greek night or not. But, and I will not disclose any greek name whatever happened whatever altercation that happened that i'm about to tell y'all so anyway so we get there we having a good time um this is was i think this was back in 2007 i want to say 2007 or 2006 or something like that because that crank that soldier boy was out but that was a song that was like they were popping but they started playing um dun, 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 dun. Fuck them on the house. Okay, can't say that. I don't think I can say this on this video. But the people that know that song, y'all know that song. So, of course, you know, that is a strolling song. That's what Greeks do. Like, they stroll, right? So, I'm on the stage because, again, I was, I have always been a hype woman. Always. I was always the person. Like, if they if they let people on the stage, I was always going up there on the stage, right? So, I'm on the stage. I can see Kelsey from, from my view. I can see her. She kind of out there. But I'm up on the stage. And they, these girls group of girls started strolling and i saw when they like had kind of bumped into her when she and so she moved right so i'm thinking you know my i'm my radar is already up right so they come back again and stroll was a different song i don't remember what song it was but i look out and as soon as i turn and look because mind you i'm on stage still jigging still doing what i do and i just see kelsey's leg mind you she has been a majorette forever her kicks are like deadly like if you get kicked by kelsey i i pray you survive like that's a, <laughs> that's the kind of kick she be having okay and i see her leg go up and then i just see a bunch of swinging right it takes kelsey to tell how i got over there she was like bro you walked on water like i think i walked on top of everybody head to get over there because one thing about it is if you roll with me we roll together we we throw hands together we lead together like that's just the motto so and it's my best friend so of course like i'm i don't care who it is right so i get over there and it was so funny because it was just like out of an action movie y'all it was out of action movie. so <laughs> kelsey is doing she kick she throwing her punches or whatever and i get over there and i like grab scoop her up and toss her right because mind you it's like at this point six 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 girls to, to my one best friend so and of course, how if you know me personally, then you know how I am about this. Like I'm very protective of like the people that I love, my friends and stuff, y'all. So I toss her out the way, and um, I just start throwing hands. So I'm like knocking motherfuckers out. Excuse my language for anybody that's watching this, but I have to tell the story how I gotta tell it. So I'm knocking motherfuckers out, and all of a sudden, like. I just see Kelsey come through like goddamn fucking Sailor Moon or some shit, y'all. This shit was out of the movie. Like, her ass was spinning and shit and fucking... I was like, what? Like, I, I literally stopped in the middle of the fight was like, what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> so, 
we get to like the other side of the club, right? On the other side of the pool table, the other side of the other, other club. And I see like Kelsey like standing in front of me and she was like, bitch, like what the fuck? Excuse my language again. But this is, this look, I think I'm gonna drop this as a premiere. And I'm like, bro, like you can't be doing this when I'm like 20 feet away, bro. Like you can't do this, right? So out of nowhere, I can see somebody running up like behind her. She's not paying attention because she's facing me, right? I like swing her and the girl run up and I'm like, bow, like, you know, like this, right? So then two other girls started running up, right? Out of nowhere, as I'm about to get ready to start swinging, y'all, I just feel my arms go like this, right? And I feel my feet come up off the ground. <laughs> I feel my feet come up off the ground, right? And I'm like looking down, I'm looking at this, this, these two girls running up, right? So one girl run up, so, and I guess she thought because my hands were like this, I just kicked y'all and like her whole chin went back, right? But this is not the funny part. The funny part is, why did this whole security guy have me up and I, my feet were dangling? It was nothing I could do. Y'all couldn't release my arms. I'm up in the air like this, kicking and shit, talking about, let me go, let me go, right? So now this is the kicker, right? I'm the last one to swing off on anybody in this club, right? After all of the stuff that happened. So he carries me to the door, right? Got me up like this, dragged me to the door, right? Toss me out, the door slams. It's quiet as hell outside, y'all. Ain't nobody out there. I am the only one thrown out of the club. Like, I'm like, I was the hero in this shit. Like, <laughs> so y'all, I was out there a good 15 minutes, a good 15 minutes. Couldn't come in with nobody out there. It's like on the movies when it's be like loud inside the club. But then when I go outside and close the door, you don't hear nothing. That's how it was. It was just crickets and shit. Like, I was just like, what the fuck do I do now? So Kelsey's still in there. So I go around to the back, y'all. I go around to the back. And I found this door that it didn't have no handle on the outside. But it was propped open by this little rock. This little rock. So... I, I like stuck my fingers where I could just reach in there. Y'all, I reached in there. I opened the door and it's like, you had to go, when you go out there, you had to go like, damn, like it was the back something. Like I know that they put some drugs through the back of that. Cause that's just how it was set up. Like El Chapo was going to roll up in a minute. Like that's how I feel. So anyway, I go through this little like hallway thing. You have to go down, come around. I'm in the back y'all. They back here. I'm not going to put their business out, but I'm going to just say, some money was being printed. Some drugs were being pushed. And they literally thought I was there for drugs. So, <laughs> I got some kind of way, got swooped into that, y'all. Was like, hey, would you, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, nah, I'm not here for that. Like, I'm looking for, for, for somebody else. I, was like, I think I just, you know, I just need to go this way or whatever. So, I ended up getting up out of that situation, y'all, which was, that was so crazy, y'all. And I ended up coming back in the club, y'all. And it was like off one of them movies, like, you know, like when... You got the bad guys after you, and they they see you in public, and y'all lock eyes. That's how me and the security guard was, y'all. Like, he saw me. Like, I know I threw your ass out, and he saw me from across the room. And I looked at him. He looked at me. And as soon as he, like, took a step, I just took off running, y'all. I ran. He chased me, y'all. Mind you, I just, I'm fresh out of high school, so I am still I still had all the speed in the street. So I was gone, y'all. They could catch me. And with nobody trying to help him either, y'all. So I'm just running around trying to give a shit. And the bartender, like, talk, when I run by the bar, he tosses me a beer, y'all, as I'm running. Like, this is no, like, I I cannot make this story up, y'all. This this story was, this was the funniest moment of my life, I think. And I talk, when I looked down at it, it was one of the ones where you have to have, like, the bottle, the beer, the bottle top opener. So I looked down at it, and I looked at him, and I'm running, and I toss it back, like, how the hell you gonna give me this shit? Like, I, this is, like, y'all, y'all, I have lived a life, is all I can say. I have stories, but, um, yes, that was my hole in the wall experience. Um, that was probably, like, our fourth or fifth time being there, y'all. I love that place to this day. Um, the owner, I think, passed away a while ago, but... That place used to be popping. I don't even know if it's still there. I don't know if it's a different name. But, y'all, hilarious. And this has been my story. Um, I'm supposed to tag four people, but I don't know who to tag. Um, maybe, who am I going to tag? I'm going to tag Cooking With Net TV. Um, I'm going to tag, um, who am I going to tag, y'all? I got Cooking with Net TV. Crafty Leo. I don't know if she's been tagged already or not. Um, I'm trying to think of people that like would that 
people do food and stuff. Or maybe they don't have to do food. Maybe they can just tell the story. So I'm gonna tag Nate the Great Podcast. I'm tagging you so you can just get out here and tell your story on one of your your little late night podcasts. Um, I need a fourth person. Who am I gonna tag? Um, I don't know who to tag, y'all. Um, Motor City Scratchers, Mrs. Motor City Scratchers. I'm gonna tag Mrs. Motor City Scratchers. So good, y'all. I don't know if they're going to do it or not, but that's the people I'm going to tag. And, yeah, so, Tay, thank you so much for tagging me in this. Um, I'm going to drop the the link to the original um, who started this challenge so that y'all can um, go back and see it. Because I might have set the rules wrong. I might have been all over the place with this. I don't know. But thank y'all so much for watching, y'all. I love y'all so much. I'm definitely probably going to drop this as a premiere. Bye.